Hey guys, so welcome, welcome back to this podcast. Honestly, there are times that I'm like really, really regretting that I chose to just do video episodes because some days it's just like I absolutely feel like shit. I feel like I look horrible. Just there's just a lot going on <laughs> besides like choosing the topic that's like a completely different story, but it's more like I'm like I don't look camera ready and I just I'm like <laughs> like why? I feel like I used to feel more like uh, special. Not, not like special. I mean, like I just wouldn't care so much when I was doing audio version. It was more like, well, I just did it. You know, I would like say whatever I want. I'm like, I can literally be in bed. Like I can, <laughs> I can be naked in bed. <laughs> like nobody would know. But when you're doing video version, it's a different story. So, anyways, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> We took two weeks break, I think. That was kind of it. There was an episode uh, that was like a, from the archive, so if you don't want to listen to that, that was actually one of the very, very good episodes. It's called uh, Posting for the Sake of Posting. I really, really like that episode. I'm so glad that we are doing these things like from the archive because there are a few episodes I feel like they deserve more love and maybe they didn't get it at the time and maybe things were different. That's why I'm like so <laughs> glad like uh, we are posting these like the older episodes again so you guys can listen to them or a new audience can listen to them. But today I want to talk about mental health is obviously like big thing uh, in this podcast and for me <laughs> and I want to talk about how traveling affects our mental health and I think for the most part right I personally believe that traveling uh, helps your mental health like it actually in a good way like you definitely feel better by yourself afterwards or your mental health is in a better place but I realized this past few weeks and months um, honestly like pretty much the entire summer too <laughs> yeah like since like the probably since like May or since June until now, I feel like it has been a lot of traveling for me. Um, I have been going back and forth between New York. Uh, I was in LA. Um, yeah, like lots of traveling. And I think it was fun for the most part. It definitely was. But I think some of it was also because like I had things that I needed to be doing. And uh, or there was work that I needed to do. But I realized... That definitely took a lot of, I don't know, I feel like I took a toll. I definitely took a toll. My body took a toll <laughs> physically. I feel like it was, I just, going back and forth, it was not that great. I think it was, uh, I liked the idea of it. I think going back and forth between New York and Miami. And I think I'm pretty sure a lot of people do that as well. But I just feel like it's definitely a lot. <laughs> like, I think, uh, like, it is cool that you can get to do that, right? Like, you can go back and forth, like, uh, you get to keep in touch with the people from your past or, like, make new connections. I think that's great because traveling overall helps us with, like, I don't know, it, like, helps us, like, be more motivated and, like, we find a new inspiration. But also on the other side, it, uh, we break our like routine and uh, that kind of sometimes helps us to like just take a step back from that it helps us like not to be stressed because sometimes being in the same environment over and over it makes us more stressed so I think there are definitely like a lot of positives in that aspect but I just think because there was lots of traveling Obviously, some of it was for work, but some of it also because, like, there were many things that was happening that I'm like, I do need to be there for reasons. Um, I just didn't realize how much that affected me, and that's what I want to kind of talk about it. This is all, like, my experience. I'm not saying that's bad, per se, but I'm realizing it's just that, like, I feel like because New York is a place that I'm obviously from and, like, I live... I used to live there so I think many times because I even a couple of times almost every other time I kind of stayed like 
a week. And that kind of confused me in many ways. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like um, because I am not fully settled in Miami and I don't feel like I am fully here per se. Like I feel like if Miami was a place that I have always lived before and if I was going back and forth um, between other places, not just New York, another place, I just don't think that would be an issue because like I know that place is my home. But I think I, when I made the decision to move to Miami, I was trying to, I guess, like make another home. But now just like, I feel like I am in this like confusing state of mind that I don't necessarily know where home is. I mean, like, I do know like physically where it is and like, but I just feel like the feeling of it, uh, I feel like I am kind of confused because whenever like I am here, I feel like I'm home, like I hang out with friends and like I do things that I usually do, right? Like go to gym, like work on my computer and like do a bunch of other things. Like, but then I also, when I go to New York, I have meetings or I go to uh, events and like I go to gym as well. Like I also have a home there. So I don't know, in, I guess in some ways it feels like I am holding on to past and uh, I, I guess it feels like in some ways that like I'm not, I haven't moved on and that's, I guess that that's like, that, that's like what it's making me feel like and like that's definitely affecting me in many ways and that's why I'm kind of like glad that I'm not traveling for a while, well for a while I mean like maybe like two months, <laughs> barely two months. Um, I will be doing like a short trip for sure uh, in November, but uh, yeah, for like October and November, I'm not traveling. I have same October, like this is October. I just can't believe this is only October. Anyways, I feel like this whole thing is giving me anxiety because I don't know, I feel like time is like flying so fast and this whole traveling made me realize how fast the time flew by and it hasn't even been a year <laughs> that I moved here. I don't know, things feel so different to me because I thought like I would feel like like at least I made a home or another home uh, here in Miami. Um, it doesn't feel like that. I think it's because I wasn't here all the time. Maybe that's why, I'm not sure, honestly. <laughs> I'm really, really not sure. I think uh, traveling definitely confused me in many ways. <laughs> and I would say this too, it's like, and I remember this, not from this, but also from like uh, another time that I did traveling, that was, I think, when I was in a relationship. This was probably last year. Last year or the year before? Um, me and my boyfriend, we decided to do a road, like long trip in California. We wanted to go to LA obviously, we wanted to go to San Francisco, we wanted to go to Palm Springs, like a bunch of places in LA. Obviously these are like, yes, they're all in California, but you know, California is huge, so you cannot necessarily do that all in one week. So I think we have like almost like two and a half week of traveling. We were in, um, like first I think we were in Vegas, actually we started in Vegas, yeah. First we were in Vegas and from Vegas we did the road trip to Palm Springs, then from Palm Springs we did a trip to, I feel like San Diego, maybe LA, I honestly don't remember, but then LA as well, then from LA we actually flew to uh, San Francisco. Anyways, like this was, I'm not trying to say this like to, <laughs> you know, be like, I did a trip, like not that. I'm just saying like that was like a pretty long trip. And I remember when I came back from that trip, I was kind of depressed. I know people get this sometimes or actually maybe all the time because I was also seeing this on TikTok. Though. Today's episode is brought to you by Liquid Ivy. Liquid IV is a category-winning hydration brand fueling your well-being, and their hydration multiplier is the one product you're missing in your daily routine. 
In just one stick, you get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning, before a workout, or when you just feel run down, after a long night out, especially after like a lot of alcohol intake, and also on just long flights. I love that it comes in individual packets so you can take it wherever with you and easily just mix it in your water. I keep one in my car, well actually a couple in my car, one in my backpack, one in my like travel bag so I never run out. Liquid IV partners with leading organizations for innovative solutions to help communities to protect both their water and their futures. To this date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. Get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code WB at checkout. That is 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code WB at liquidiv.com. Like after you travel, you have this uh, depression, like that like you want to go out again, you want to like be somewhere else again. And that partially is true, yeah, like I feel like we all get that, but I feel like sometimes also like you get so used to that routine that you have during your travel. And not just the routine, I feel like it's like, I don't know, like that mindset or whatever you're doing is like how you are at that time, I guess. Then you suddenly come back to like reality and you're like, whoa, like, where am I? It, it's almost like you feel, what is, I was, I literally, I, I like the word was in the top, like in the tip of my uh, mouth and it just, tip of my tongue, mouth, tongue. I just, I, it just couldn't, disoriented. Oh, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, like you kind of feel disoriented. At least that, that's how I would say that's how I feel. Um, because I feel like when you travel a lot or when you just travel for a long period of time and once you're like in one place, you're like, what just happened? Am I like, am I in a simulation? Like honestly, most of the time that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, am I in a simulation? Like, am I in this place or am I like in that place? Like, um... That's what's like confused me the most and I think one thing also like so different is like at least was like going from like further places like California and stuff like because there's time difference obviously you kind of feel the difference that like you're like I'm not in California anymore I'm not in this place anymore going back and forth between like places that are not super far from each other or they're in, they're in the same time zone that sometimes even confuses me the most like with New York and uh, Miami is like because they're the same time zone eastern time zone so uh, no you don't really necessarily get jet lag so because that's one of the disadvantages of like traveling like you get jet lag and you're tired but I feel like it's also like yeah because I got I get so used to so quick is my lifestyle in New York that I come back here and I'm like, now what? Like, oh, oh I am, I'm still in New York? I, oh, no, I'm not, like I'm here. Like, I don't know, I feel like also like sometimes I'm like connecting with people here, then it's like this, like, this is the best way to put it. I feel like when I first sat in New York, like, because I feel like I already know people, it almost feels like I never left. It's like I pick up from where I left off. Like, that's how I would say it. It's like, nothing has changed. I just, I can see the same people. I can see my same friends. Nothing feels different at all. Which is, in, I guess in many ways, that's a great thing because it doesn't feel like I am missing out so much or I am, not, it's not even about missing out. It's more about like, I it feels like nothing has changed and like, I can count on those people but in some ways also like when I am I guess like in Miami or when I'm in a new place I feel like I have to somewhat start over again because I don't necessarily have those kind of relationships here yes I have made friends here but I feel like it's those are still newer friendships and like relationships that like I have to cultivate and culture and like I have to try a bit harder to 
to like I don't know like keep those relationships and friendships so it's like it feels like I have to try an extra effort to just to even do that um, and I think that's what makes it like I guess like harder like really really harder because I feel like New York just feels so easy to me because I have been there like longest but when I come back here I'm like oh I ha it almost feels like I have to start over uh, it's also because I feel like some of the friendships they take a toll maybe it's because I'm like they, they were different before um, before I started traveling this much now they just maybe they are strained in some ways those friendships I don't know it's, it's very that's what I'm saying like the best way to describe it is like the whole time I just feel disoriented and it's been like maybe uh, yeah it hasn't even been two weeks since I got back from New York and last week honestly it, it kind of felt such a busy week because as soon as I came back uh, I had this collaboration that I had to get content for then I I don't know what I'm trying to like what else I did um, yeah, then I like met with friends and like that's what I'm saying. I feel like maybe I didn't I didn't necessarily had the time to just like process where I am. Um, I don't know. I feel like it has been a minute, and that's why I'm like trying to even explain this process that like sometimes like yes, traveling is great. Traveling helps you a lot, and like you discover new cultures and new places and everything but that can also affect you very differently that's why i would say this is my personal opinion okay don't take this like this uh, like take everything with a grain of salt uh i feel like the best like amount of time to travel is literally like two maybe three days because anything more than three days or so i don't know like once you come back to your routine it fucks you up like it messed you up so bad at this for me i just feel like you're like wait like this is my routine like this is what i was doing it's just it takes a while to like get back to where you were before so that's how i would say like i feel like maybe because like i'm i should have made my like stays shorter uh but at the same time it's like i'm like i know so many people in new york like i don't want to just be like oh sorry like i'm and I'm there, I'm staying with my dad, I'm like, I don't want to be like, I don't want to stay with you, I'm only here for this, like, you know, you don't want to pull that. So, it's definitely, I would say it's 100% very, very difficult. I think on top of it is that, like, I feel like, when, once you're in a place that is, like, longer than a few days, or, like, becomes a week or so, you get used to, I mean, at least I do, that's what I'm saying, like, I get used to how people are, and I feel like, I have, like, I, I'm getting so used to, like, uh, how also people are here in Miami that all of a sudden when I go back to New York, I'm like, oh, no, this is, like, how it is here. Um, like, I, I just definitely know the difference, but it's more like I'm like, oh, I constantly have to switch. Like, because, like, I feel like places, are, they're not the same. <laughs> they're really, really not the same. I mean, yes, there are so many New Yorkers in uh, Miami, too, so for sure. But culture is very very different in Miami so it's like whenever I'm going back and forth I'm always like oh it's not like that here or sometimes I'm, I'm like I feel so out of place like insanely out of place um like I'm like oh uh, is this the place like is this where I belong like then I come back here and I'm like is this the place I belong like I'm like I don't know like I really don't know I think it definitely gives me so much anxiety for sure um I feel like, I mean, I'm definitely, like, grateful for the experience, like, for traveling, that's for sure. I think, and the things that happen during traveling, that's great, for sure. But I think because it changes your routine and things are just... Definitely, I, I would say, for sure, my health took a toll, my physical health, because I definitely got sick. I don't know if it was just allergies or combination of cold. It was definitely not COVID because I tested that for sure, but... I definitely got sick from that, but I think also afterwards, I was kind of like, oh my god, like, where am I, what's going on, like, um, I need to get back to my, like, Miami routine, like, how I am living my life in Miami. I think, at the end of the day, like, this is definitely a new chapter for me, like, living in Miami, and that's why I'm trying to be like, 
I want to get the full experience. But I realized for someone who just moved who moved here not too long ago, not long ago at all actually, <laughs> I just feel like that was a lot of travel. Maybe I should have waited. But at the same time, I feel like I was really trying to because the whole point of me moving to Miami or even choosing Miami in the first place was that like I could go back and forth between New York a lot because it's like traveling is so easy it's like uh, two hours and like no jet lag and everything so that's one reason I was like I like that's why I chose Miami that was like I had this strategy behind it it wasn't just like Miami like let me just go party <laughs> well, a lot of people do this here but like I'm just saying that was not my intent behind that so that's why I wanted to experience that but I feel like maybe I got I got carried away a little bit but also at the same time it's like I feel like none of this is I necessarily did it for like fun there was like maybe only like one or two trip it was like a fun fun trip everything else was like it was someone's birthday it was one of my friends getting engaged and like other one, I don't know, it was like, other, it, other one was work, like, I just feel like it wasn't necessarily like, oh, let, like, let me just test this out, but I just realized, like, now that I'm looking back, and that's why I wanted to just make an episode about this, that, like, we see travel as an escape, which is, in a lot of ways, I mean, it is an escape, escape from the reality, escape from our problems and, like, stress, but I don't think we could see it in a way that like it's gonna solve everything because once you come back obviously things are same or worse actually sometimes it just it's different it's difficult obviously for sure and that's one reason I think that like shorter travel is much better I think once you have a short trip, first you definitely try harder, you definitely want to try to do more because, you know, you're like, oh, I only have two days or I only have like three days here or I only have a day and a half here. You want to do everything you can. But once you come back, it's like it doesn't even feel like you have left because it was such a short time. But you have to get that experience. That's why I kind of want to talk about and like maybe that's why I will like try next. I'm not sure honestly, but I feel like the, this whole like travel like made me realize entire summer like flew by so fast and I think because of traveling I didn't feel it. Like I was like wow this this summer went by like so quick. I feel like, <laughs> I can't, I, I don't even remember, I'm like, like, when was, like, what did I do in April, what did I do in May, like, because when, that was the last thing I remember, because I don't remember June, July, August, that went by incredibly quick, and I can't believe now we're in October, um, yeah, that's the thing, traveling, like, I can see why people do it a lot, like, that feeling of, like, you can be anywhere, you can do anything, you can escape from this and that and like don't have to do anything, completely understand. But I feel like you might have to deal with the consequences afterwards and that's why I want to share it and this was my experience from lots of traveling lately. On the plus side, I feel like I'm definitely getting my medallion status. <laughs> I am like, what is so interesting that like this one thing I would say that I'm ending this episode. <laughs> I am gonna be like, I'm gonna have like my Delta medallion status from like Delta, and they just changed the whole program for next year. The fact that if I get kicked out or if I don't get the medallion status, that's what's going to make me even <laughs> more pissed. <laughs> because the, one of the biggest reasons also I was doing this, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get medallion status so I can get more upgrades and stuff like that. But there it goes, so, you never know, maybe they're gonna make updates and stuff, but I'm just saying, there are definitely perks too, but I feel like as more and more I realize, older I get, that I feel like mental health and physical health is, I mean, they're super important, and I feel like we always need to have those as, like, priority, 
then everything else can come along. But I feel like those are the things that we should really, really take into consideration. And that's why I'm going to end this episode on. I hope you guys like this episode. If you do, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. This is another episode.